Hey everyone, um, I wanted to share a quick update with what's been going on over here and um, kind of tell you all about this really big change that's happening in our lives. Um, as you might have guessed <laughs> by these boxes, um, we are going to be moving soon. So we've lived in the LA area, Dylan and I, for the last decade, um, basically our entire adult lives. And it's just so expensive here and um, we're far from family and just, I don't know, there's a lot of factors, but um, we in two months are going to be moving to um, Missouri. My grandparents have about a hundred acres there and we're building a house on their property and we are going to be able to homestead there. And um, this has been my dream since I was a, a little kid and I think somewhere along the way I kind of forgot about it because, you know, in school everything's about like what career do you want to have? Like, do you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or like, you know, a teacher or it feels like there's these very specific career paths that um, you're like supposed to take or whatever. And homesteading's not like an option, like nobody talks about that. Um, or even being a farmer is like not really something that you kind of, that seems like something you have to be like born into or I don't know. Anyway, so, so yeah, um, this is finally happening and I'm, I'm so grateful, um, that we're able to start this journey and take our kids on it with us and that they're going to have this type of lifestyle to grow up in. Um, we are planning on getting a dairy cow and, um, chickens and ducks and honeybees and, um, maybe some sheep, some horses at some point. I've um, been a horse lover my whole life. I've always wanted to have a horse, so yeah. I don't know, I'm very excited. I'm nervous because we, oh, we're gonna have like a massive garden. Our goal is to provide majority of the food that we can for ourselves um, because the big agriculture system that we rely on in this country is just so messed up. Um, and so not sustainable and um, just not healthy for us, not healthy for the planet, so many things. So we're really looking forward to like getting more and more out of that um, system. It's gonna take a while, but, but yeah, it's gonna be great. So, um, so what's going on in the meantime is we're here packing. Um, we're trying to do, you know, one to, however many boxes every day that we can. Of course, it doesn't happen every day because um, there's just not enough time in the day. But um, so we're packing, we are going through hopefully everything that we own and um, getting rid of the things that we don't want or need anymore. So we're selling lots of things, especially a lot of the furniture we're gonna be selling and getting um, new to us, but used stuff on the other side. Um, and what else? We're giving lots of things away on Buy Nothing Group. Um, we probably will do a thrift store donation, but we don't want to do that unless we've ex we've done like all the other avenues first. Um, and um, yeah, so it's just crazy busy here. We're gonna be doing a yard sale soon. Um, I'm gonna do like a closet sale on my Instagram page. Um, and yeah, just trying to minimize as much as possible. I've been wanting to go through and get rid of so many things for so long. And this is a really hectic time to do it, but it's also a really good time to do it. Cause I have to handle like everything that we have anyway, either packing it up to move it or, um, or I can just choose to pass it on to somebody else at that time. So, um, so yeah, so I'll um, share with you guys either here on YouTube or on my Instagram channel as we're doing things or maybe right after the move um, about like low waste moving, uh, what we're doing to kind of minimize um, the waste on that because it's that can be huge. So far all of our boxes are um, secondhand. They've been used for other things before. Um, all of the tape we got from Buy Nothing Group, um, somebody 
you know, they probably bought it new, but it's just been sitting in their garage. And so we're using that and we're probably going to have some leftover that we can give on to somebody else too. Um, and we're using, I don't know, just lots of different kinds of things to like pack fragile items. And so I'll share more about, um, some of this kind of stuff, uh, as I can. And, um, maybe about our minimizing journey too. If you're interested in hearing about that, let me know. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in learning about how we set up our homestead on the other end, uh, you should definitely subscribe um, because we're going to share a lot about that. We're not experts. We don't really know anything. We've had the smallest garden ever here, um, but we are going to be learning and we're going to be doing it. And if you want to learn and see us fail some and win some <laughs> um, along. If you want to like learn along with us basically, then um, you should subscribe and, and yeah, follow our journey. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I've been wanting to tell you all about this for a while, but uh, we didn't really know when we were moving and um, I, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't ready to share about it yet, but now I feel like I actually should have shared about it a long time ago because there's a lot I've been wanting to um, talk to you all about. But but yeah, so here it is, and um, we'll talk soon. Have a great day, you guys.